What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So today I want to show you guys a super useful team building tool that I think players of all levels could benefit from using. It's called the Dokkan Battle Optimizer. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Suikara on the Dokkan subreddit for bringing this program to my attention. I think they might also be one of the creators of the program, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I played around with it earlier today and I definitely think more people should know about it. With all that said, let's jump right in. First things first, to access the Dokkan Battle Optimizer, just go to the link in my description. I'm currently on my computer for the purposes of this video, but it should also be optimized for mobile devices. Right now, we're looking at the main page, which as far as I can tell, has every single unit in the game on it. You can also change the game version and language in the settings on the top left here. From there, it's just a matter of putting together your team. You could choose from the entire pool here, but honestly, that would be a huge pain in the ass. Luckily, they have a filter system that's very similar to the one we have in game. Just hit that little icon on the top left here and you'll see all your filter options. One insanely awesome thing they have here that the actual game desperately needs is the option to filter by specific links. So if I wanted to see all the units that have the all in the family link, I just click on it, hit confirm, and there you go. That is awesome. Take notes, Bandai Spies. <laughs> now let's get into the team building stuff. Let's say, for example, that I wanna build a really solid fusions team. I would go over to the filters, select fusion from the drop down menu here, make sure to deselect the link, and hit confirm. And there you go, it will show me all the available Fusions units in the game. To add a unit to your team, all you have to do is click on them. The first unit you choose will be your leader, so we'll go with AGL Gogeta here. As a quick side note, my longtime fans know that I don't personally have AGL Gogeta, so I'm sure a few of them will make fun of me for that. It's just an example, guys. Let it go. Anyways, getting back to our team here, the next five units you choose will complete the team. Obviously. The units each person chooses will depend on what they have available to them in their box, but I'll go with LR Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, STR Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and Handel for support. So there's my team right there. Lastly, you'll have to select the friend lead, which in most situations should be the same as your own leader. So there we go. Once you do that, the program will take you to this new screen that has a ton of super useful information. At the top left, you can see the team cost as well as the team's total HP. One thing to note is that I believe all characters are considered either at the free dupe level or without any orb investment at all. Then you have your full team at the top with a few stats under each of them. The first number is their starting attack, the second number is starting defense, and the third is their starting key. All of these are calculated before any key orbs are given. Scrolling a little further down, you'll see six different rotations laid out for you. These rotations are based solely on the position of the units in your team. It may not be the best possible rotations. As you can see, AGL Gogeta and LR Gogeta are in the first two slots, so they make up the first rotation. SSJ4 Gogeta and STR Gogeta are in the third and fourth slots, so they make up the second rotation. As you scroll down, you can see that they keep those rotations together and rotate through the remaining three units as floaters. If anyone is super confused at this point and don't understand what I'm saying, I would recommend that you watch my video explaining rotations in Dokkan. I'll make sure to link it in the description down below. Go check it out. Now let's take a closer look. The numbers in between each of the units represents the number of links they share with each other. If you click on it, it will show you the exact links they share along with their effects. So as you can see, AGL Gogeta and LR Gogeta share Fierce Battle, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, and Super Saiyan. If we go down to the bottom here, you'll find that STR Gogeta and AGL Gogeta share a crap ton of links, so you'll definitely want to keep them together when running this team. Another thing to note is that the attack, defense, and key numbers under each unit are updated to reflect the effects of links and passives. Like I said before, this program is very useful, but it can't do everything. In order for you to determine the best team setup, and rotations for yourself, you'll have to play around with it a little bit. 
So for example, if I wanted to see how well Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks link, then I would switch the positions of STR Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks like this. And now I can see that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks make a very solid rotation with four shared links. So that's all there really is to it for the Dokkan Battle Optimizer. Just play around with different team compositions and rotations until you find the ideal setup for your available units. As another quick example, if I were to build a Realm of Gods team, I might go for a UI Goku lead, AGL Gogeta, LR Vegito Blue, LR Goku Black, um, SSB Vegeta, and let's say Rose. I would finish the team, look down the list, and realize, damn, STR Rose and LR Goku Black are actually insane linking partners. So then I would make an effort to keep them together when running the team. And that's it for all the free features on this site. Everything I mentioned here so far should be more than enough for you to build your teams. But for people who want a little bit more from the program, they also have a premium subscription option. It'll give you the ability to choose the dupe investment for each character and also get some more information about their leader skills, passives, and so on. If you're interested in the added convenience and also want to support the developers a little bit, then you can see the prices here. Honestly, I think they're very reasonable. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you at least found it useful in some way and happy team building. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. That's all from me. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.